Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can add lights to a 2D pixel game inside of Unity. So there's going to be a few steps for this. First off, for all of the sprites which we want to receive lighting from the Unity lights, we're going to need to change the material on their sprite renderer, or if you're using tile maps uh, for all of this floor and wall stuff, then you also need to change it for the tile map renderer. So by default, the material set here is sprites default, which does not receive lighting from any sources. It only displays it as you imported it. So what we need to do is create a new material. So this material, I'm calling it pixel diffuse. You can see that it is using the shader sprites slash diffuse. So we can just go ahead and recreate this real quick. Uh, if you right click and go to create and then down here for materials, uh, we should be able to create a new material and shader we want to change this to sprites and then diffuse the last thing i'm going to do is check pixel snap because we are trying to do a pixel art game with pixel perfect uh, art so once you've done that you can go ahead and assign this material to those sprite renderers uh, because i already have it i'm just going to delete that new one so i'm going to shift select these six grid tile map components so that I can change their material all at once. So where it says material, I'm going to select here and we're going to go down for pixel diffuse. When you do that, you should notice that all of your tile map objects pretty much get dark immediately. So now they need light in order for you to see it properly. So creating a light inside of Unity is pretty easy. I can come down here to a game object, or if you want to create an empty, just right click create empty. This is only a parent object to kind of organize all of the lights. So I'm going to right click it and add in light, point light here. Now for me, it's showing it immediately. For you, uh, depending on the Z value of your grid or all the objects in your scene, you may need to change its position. Because remember, even if you're building a 2D Unity game, uh, objects still have a 3D position. And now with this light, we can manipulate its range and intensity to get the settings that we want. So if we want less spread across our tile map grid, we can decrease the range here. If you want the intensity, basically the amount of light to go up, you can take intensity and you can ramp that straight up uh, to whatever you think would be necessary. And of course you can manipulate the transform so pretend this light was like a torch on the wall, then you could kind of position the light right on that torch and it would make a lot more sense. Now, you'll see in mode that it's going to be set to real time. And if you click on this drop down menu, mixed and baked are probably going to be disabled for you out of the box because we need to enable the setting for baked and mixed lighting. So we can do that by going up to window, rendering, lighting settings and now we want to scroll down here and there'll be a checkbox baked global illumination uh, associated with mixed lighting if you check that and you set the uh, lighting mode to either shadow mask subtractive or baked indirect i'm using subtractive right now i'm using subtractive right now there's obviously different lighting modes and you can check on the website if you're really curious about that but the reason we are changing it to baked lighting over here in mode now is because real time lights are incredibly unnecessary for a 2D pixel art game. Uh, we don't need it to constantly do things like calculate shadows. So where we have mode, we can just change that to baked, which is gonna make the performance on the light a lot better. It won't be taking up nearly as many system resources. And with that, we can basically go ahead and test it out. Now, if you want game objects, like for instance, this door up here, to also receive that material and thus receive the lighting, then you gotta change it for each object individually. So for the sprite renderer here, I'm gonna change the material as well to the pixel diffuse material that we've gone ahead and created. If you want more lights, you can easily do that. So I'm going to duplicate and move this light. Let's say over here, maybe increase the range of this light a bit and decrease the intensity, move it a little bit more towards the center. And we can also duplicate the bottom light one more time, position it over here. And now I'll go ahead and test it out by hitting play. So this character over here, my Bernice Dark, 
it already has the material applied to the sprite render, so it can receive the lights as I move about in the scene. Um, so if I get it really close to the light, you can see it becomes fully illuminated, and as I go further away, it gets dark. Same with everything else in the scene. Now, if you run into any issues with the rendering of your light, like if one of the lights happens to flicker for some reason when you kind of go off screen, uh, what you can do is change the render mode from auto to important, which will force it to prioritize the rendering of that light. Um, just a quick fix if you run into any flicker issues, but I think since I changed that to baked lighting, there's no issue there at all. So that's pretty much it to adding some basic lights inside of a 2D game for Unity. Just make sure that any objects that you do want to receive light, like this leaf over here, um, you have to assign the material. Otherwise, your objects will display as if they were fully illuminated, and that may not be what you want, unless you want it to be obviously visible, like this dark in the corner over here. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Hope it helps you guys out. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future Unity content.